Today it's time to present the assembly of the All Road Pushchair. What you need Basket frame, rear wheels, seat with belts, guardrail, hood, front wheels, cup holder, mosquito net, rain cover, leg warmer. Start by unfolding the frame. First, release the lock by moving this button and pressing the other. Firmly lift the frame and unfold until you hear a click. Now mount the wheels, rear ones first. Slide the wheels into the holes in the frame sides until you hear a click. To remove the rear wheel, pull down this metal handle under the frame and slide it out. Assembling the front wheels. Slide them into the holes in the front of the frame until they lock. To remove them, press this button and pull out. You can lock the front wheels in a fixed position for pushing in a straight line by moving this slider. The grey indicators on the sides will help you to install the seat. Position the backrest so that it forms a single line and only now slide the seat into the frame. Done. Slide the hood into the frame openings until you hear a click. Then secure it with the snap fasteners and velcros on the back of the backrest. And the last thing to do is to fasten the snap fasteners on the frame. Slide the safety bar over the guides on the seat frame. To take it out, press the buttons on the side. Just mount the cup holder and we're ready for a walk. Now a short guide to the functions of the pushchair. The brake is applied and released by pressing it from the top. Adjust the belts before every walk. The belts are fastened to the buckle individually. You can fasten the hip belts on the side and the shoulder belts on the top. The backrest in the all-road pushchair can be set in three positions. Pull the lever and the backrest locks automatically after each change. For babies, use the horizontal position. You can set the seat in two positions. To change the position, lift the backrest upright until the side indicators are in line and only now pull out and reposition the seat. The hood has an additional element which protects the child from the sun. You can unfold it to this position. When the zip is unfastened, a net, which provides ventilation, is uncovered. And there's a window at the top of the hood. The footrest has four positions. Change it by pressing the buttons on both sides. The parental handle can be set in five positions. Just press on both sides and move. Slide on the leg warmer and attach it with the snap fasteners. Stretch the rain cover like this and attach it with the snap fasteners from both sides to the cover or to the frame. There's a window on the front which can be opened. Roll up the rain cover and fasten at the top. The assembly of the mosquito net is simple. Pull it onto the pushchair and secure it with a strap behind the backrest. The cover can be wiped with a damp cloth or washed by hand. Let's see how to remove it for washing. First, remove the hood. Unfasten the side snap fasteners, press the button in the frame and pull out the hood. Unfasten the Velcros and the snap fasteners on the back of the hood. Take out the rail and the whole seat for easier removal of the cover. Take the material off the hooks on the sides. Unfasten the two Velcro fasteners at the back of the seat and slide out the crotch belt. Now unfasten the Velcro at the back of the backrest and pull out the hip belt buckles. You can take the protectors off the belts for washing. 
The last thing to do is to dismantle the shoulder belts. There's one last Velcro left underneath the footrest material and the cover can be removed for washing. To put it back, do everything in reverse order. First, put the cover on the seat. Then assemble the belts. Be sure to lock them well. Finally, stretch the material and fix it into the attachment points. The pushchair can be folded with or without the seat fitted. Slide the first button on the handle and by pressing the second one, fold the frame, which, thanks to the automatic lock, will not open by itself during transport. Have a nice trip with the All Road.